about a year or so ago, I did a review on this antenna. This is the Chameleon uh, LEFS 4010, a uh, 40 through 10 meter NFED half wave antenna. Uh, you can see the transformer right there. Uh, now the really cool thing about this particular antenna is that when they released this antenna a couple years ago, it had two feed points on it. Uh, one that was marked and, and fed EFHW, and the other one marked dipole. And I thought, hey, that is really cool to have uh, a center point or an end point, depending on the type of antenna or feed point, you know, um, that, had, that could uh, function both as a dipole antenna and as an end fed half wave antenna. And we reviewed this antenna, and it is a very capable end fed half wave antenna for 40 through 10 meters. I, and I, I enjoy it a lot every time I've, I've taken it out. And I've never gotten around to doing anything with the dipole side of this, of this frame. Until now, Chameleon recently released this item, and it is a dipole for the LESF uh, 4010. Uh, really cool. Uh, it comes uh, in two different flavors. The um, Link D uh, dipole, which is for 40, 30, and 20 meters. And then the Link D15 is for 40, 20, and 15 meter band. This particular model is the Link D15. So we've got 15, 20, and 40 meters on this um, half-wave dipole, link uh, dipole antenna. Uh, it's constructed with um, alligator clips uh, for the breakpoints for the links, 20-gauge uh, uh, PTFE uh, wire uh, for the, uh, the radiators, classic uh, chameleon wire. They like to use that type of wire a lot. It can be uh, mounted horizontal or in an inverted V-style uh, style of formation. And um, like it, it works exclusively with the um, LESF of 4010. So if you've got one of those those um, LESF 4010s and uh, you want to have, you know, the efficiency of a dipole antenna, but still that convenience of an NFED halfway with you, adding one of these may be uh, an appropriate thing to do. So um, we're going to test this antenna out. Uh, now Chameleon did send this to me and um, in exchange for a review. So we're going to take a look at this. Uh, but um, all of the opinions on this are my own without any outside influence. So let's take a look at Chameleon's uh, Link D15 uh, dipole antenna attachment for the um, LESS 4010. In my intro, I said that this was the Chameleon D-Link 15, the link dipole for 15, 20, and 40 meters. I was incorrect. Uh, they sent me the D-Link, uh, which is the link dipole for 20, 30, and 40 meters. And I did not realize that until I put it up on the into the air and set my meter. And if you look, the um, SWR for the 20 to 20 meter band, middle of the band is 1.5 to 1. It's actually a lot, it's, it's actually better at the bottom of the band and it's, it slopes a little bit upward. And your SWR is gonna deviate a little bit depending upon the center point height, how, how it's sloped, if it's a flat top inverted V, if the V touches the ground or if they're elevated a little bit. So actually with the configuration that I've got here, about 25 feet up in the air, uh, with the end points about six or so feet up, 1.5 1 1 to 1 in the middle of the band is usually about right. Your mileage is going to vary, of course. So um, um, I was hoping to get this on the 15 meter band, but um, since we don't have that option, uh, we're going to get the D-Link antenna on the air for 20 meters. Whiskey Zulu 
for Tango. Whiskey Zulu for Tango, nice signal, coming in 57 Wisconsin, US 12081, back to you. I've got 57 back your way, uh, came to November Charlie, over. All right, hey, thanks a lot for North Carolina today. You have a great day. Thanks, you do the same, 73. 73, take care. Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo, parks on the air. Cures it. Park to park, park to park. I heard a park to park. Park to park, this is Sierra Charlie 2, Julia, Mike Sierra, from US 9132. Okay, I got Kilo Charlie 2, Juliet, Mike Sierra in US 9132. You're coming in about a 5-3 Wisconsin, US 12081. Back to you. 12081. All right, hey, thanks for upstate New York today. You have a great day. 7-3. This is Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo, Parks on New York. Here's it. Kilo Julia 5, Golf India Hotel. Park to park. Park to park. Alpha India 7, Papa Sierra, USL. Alpha India 7, Papa Sierra, nice signal. 5 5, Wisconsin, US 12081. Back to you. Uh, I'm at Park 3205, 3205. You're coming in at a good 5-8 today, which is unusual. Appreciate the call, 73. All right, well, thanks for the 3205 running a dipole today. And um, it's really, yeah, I've been getting a lot of um, uh, uh, northwest uh, corner of the U.S. So uh, thanks a lot for the, uh, the park today. That dipole is just working marvelous for you. I've got a vertical going, so uh, I'm surprised I got you today. Thanks for the call, 73. Hey, you too. You, you take care, 73. This is uh, KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air. Last call. Kilo Norway 6, Mike Sierra Charlie. Kilo Norway 6, Mike Sierra Charlie. Nice 5-5 five, five, Wisconsin, U.S. 12081. Back to you. All right, hey, thanks a lot for California today. Uh, you have a great day, 7-3. Seven, 7-3. Three. Seven, three. This is uh, KB9 VBR, Parks on your last call. All right, we're going to finish up on 40 meters. KB9 VBR going to be QRT. Oh, 58, <laughs> 58, and um, relatively good signal reports uh, with the with the dipole antenna on 20 meter band. Um, a fair amount on the west coast, to Washington State, uh, a little surprising. <laughs> band is still a little a little wobbly up and down, but still, um, it's it's working as a dipole should. So I'm I'm genuinely pleased. KB9 VBR parks on the air. Kilo X08, uniform Kilo X. It's been a minute, yep. Kilo X08, uniform Kilo X ray, 57 Wisconsin, US 12081. Back to you. Hey, good afternoon, Michael. 59 Ohio. Hey, thanks for Ohio today. You have a great day, 7 3. 7 3, Michael. Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo parks on the air. Kilo Park to park, park to park, park to park. The park to park. So yeah, November, uh, November 1, Japan, Uniform, India. Uh, radio, radio, the last letter, radio. Kilo Bell. Oh, there we go. November 1, Japan, Uniform, Radio. Hey, thanks for the second band today. Uh, coming in about a 5-1 here, Wisconsin, U.S. 12081. Back to you. Yeah, Roger, Roger, Michael. Glad to get you there in the log again. Uh, saw you move to 40. Figured I'd uh, chase you. Uh, don't uh, <laughs> think I'm wrong. I'm not stopping you. But glad to get you there in the log. And thanks again for the part to part. Roger, Roger. Hey, thanks a lot. You too. You have a great day. 7-3. Seven, 7-3. Three. Seven, three. This is Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo, Parks on the Air. Kilo, Kilo Bravo Nine, The Kilo Bravo 9. Kilo Bravo 9, Juliet. Kilo Bravo 9, Juliet. Nice 5-9, Wisconsin, U.S. 12081. Back to you. Uh, QSO, Michael, yeah, you're about a 5-7 in Illinois today. Hey, thanks for Illinois. You have a great day. 7-3. 
73. Thanks for the park. Hey, my pleasure. Uh, KB9 VBR parks on the air. QRZ. KMO8, Charlie India Romeo. Whiskey Zero, Romeo Foxtrot Kilo. All right. That was actually really good <laughs> for 40 meters. Um, see a 71 contacts total. So 40 meters, we had 12, 12 on 40 and uh, 59 on the 20 meter band. And um, good signal reports on 40, middle of the day here. It's like 2.30 in the afternoon. So I was, I was a little trepidatious. Um, because 40 hasn't been too good during the day, but um, we got them. The dipole, the dipole always pulls them out, so uh, good deal. So what do I think about Chameleon's Link D, a linked dipole accessory for the LESF uh, 4010 and Fed Half Wave? Well, I think it's 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 a really it's a great idea. Uh, when I got this uh, LESF uh, 4010 you know, about a year and a half ago or so. I thought it was fascinating that when they when they built this they had the um, the upgrade ability of both um, supporting an NFED half wave with the built-in transformer or bypassing the transformer with a separate feed point for the dipole. That was great forward thinking and I thought that was a great idea and it took them a little while to actually come out with the dipole elements <laughs> for for whatever reason uh, but when they did um, you know I, I think it's a great way to expand your 4010 if you've got one of these uh, get the dipole get the dipole elements uh, they sent me the link D for 40 30 and 20 meters um, if I was gonna invest in one of these I'd probably go with their um, link D 15 which is 40 20 and 15 meter band I, I, I find that to be just a little bit more useful uh, than the 40 than the 30 meter one but you know it really just depends on what your personal needs or preferences are they have a third um, set of dipole elements that concentrate on just the work bands for 30, 17, and 12. The efficiency of a dipole and the, and the versatility of an end fed are both built into the same frame here with the with this um, LESS uh, 4010 and its um, and its link dipole counterparts which I think is, is really really cool. Um, you know, downsides on this, it's, well, um, you know, one of the downsides of, of dipoles is they're primarily mono band antennas. So, you know, you got to pull it down, you got to change the links, you got to put it back up again if you want to get a different band with the antenna. A little bit of time uh, with that. There's a little, there's extra time and energy that it takes to put the antenna up because now you got to think about center supports and end supports and um, of course you can stake you can stake the ends on the ground if you don't have trees or something like that and then use a push-up pole uh, for the center so you do have that option but um, that is that's one of the concerns about dipoles and one of the things that kind of you know the reasons why people gravitate towards the convenience of an end fed antenna is Logically, you only need one support, you know, the one up high if you're going to slope the antenna and anything else can be, um, you know, tied off at or near the ground. So um, that's the downside with dipole antennas. But performance, it's, it's unmatched. Um, it's a dipole. This is the um, Chameleon uh, D-Link uh, for a link dipole antenna add-on for the uh, LEFS uh, 4010 NFED half-wave antenna. Uh, you'll find uh, links for this product are down below in the product des uh, description. You'll find that at chameleonantenna.com. Uh, questions, comments about the, these, these, this link dipole system? I'd love to hear what you think about that. Leave them down in the, in the, in the, the comment area down below. Uh, we'll, get the, we'll get the community discussion rolling on that. If, if you enjoy uh, using dipole antennas. If you think adding a dipole to your NFED half wave is a great, uh, a great idea, um, I want to hear about it. And that's it for this time. I'm Michael, KB9 VBR. You have a great day in 7.3.